So it's early in the morning, people are out and about, even myself in the trusty ute, the silver fox. We're gonna go and have a look at a very special worm farm that my friend has been doing for quite a long time now. I have him set up his worm farm a few years ago. Now he uses sugarcane as a part of the bedding and feeding process and where they come up and lay cocoons in there and stuff. It's really, really interesting. So come with me, just a quick little trip up the road and we're gonna go and have a look at this very interesting farm. See this worm farm here? It's an underground permaculture worm farm. Now, if you never want to fertilize your plants again, let the worms and your waste do the work for you, you can build one of these. And you can learn exactly how in my Worm Wranglers members area, level three. You can get it here inside YouTube. There's a link down below in the description. And yeah, it's pretty awesome. I highly recommend these. So this is my friend's worm farm. It's a can of worms. And they got this really little interesting little cat here. And he's hanging around, a bit lonely at the moment. No one's woken up to come see you yet. <laughs> and a uh, really friendly cat. Anyway, sort of putting me off a bit on my video down here. And look, this is a good little system, but it's actually designed to be a two or three tier. And this cat, it jumps up on your shoulders, <laughs> look. It loves just hanging out with people and he's going, I want to be in the video, Marty, with you and I miss you. Here they see, my friend. And yeah, it's got a couple of tears on it. And see the bottom tier, the bottom tier, start digging claws in me. The bottom tier, what we do is we put mushroom compost or compost down in the bottom. And then the top tiers, we actually use a sugarcane mulch. And the sugarcane mulch creates this like a really good bedding that breaks down and a really great casting actually and you feed down below the sugarcane mulch underneath and this wiry sort of wrap makes up and it just creates this like a, a bit like a wetsuit or something like that where it creates this sort of like moist environment where it keeps nice and warm and it's really really cool and this cat just doesn't want to stop get down <laughs> it's it's lonely all right so let's have a look inside the farm and give you a bit more of a rundown I'm gonna actually pull it apart a bit I've got permission to do that um, I care take this farm part-time and help my friend out with it and yeah I'm actually gonna do something like this pretty similar at home myself I think uh, I just it's just been working really great for him for years and I don't know why I haven't actually had a go at just doing it on my own. It's just one of those farms that takes a little bit longer to get established. See, let's show you what's underneath at the bottom here. I'll line the camera back up. And uh, this is the fresh stuff that I put on top just the other day. So, yeah. Oh, look, there's even a worm up in there already. Let's do that. The only thing is, these are heavy. Oh. This farm, it's ready, pretty much ready to be harvested. And you can see there's a good amount of worms in the, the bottom bedding there. And that actually is the top part would be the broken down sugar cane. So the mushroom compost is below that because we go level by level each time and keep adding. And so it has, creates this really good fibrous bedding, which I think worms like uh, night crawlers and that would really like as well. He's got mostly in here Asthena fetida, which is the tiger worms, the red some people like to call them. And like, you could really just get ready. He could just be using that. I don't know why he isn't. Um, it's, mate, it's, that's gonna be so good for plants. It's just at that right medium where it's, a little bit sort of like just nearly a casting but still a bit fibrous and I really like it when it's like that for plants. So the next level down is pretty much the same and so we've got three tiers. Now the thing is I'll get this top tier right 
the top tier is just the material. It's just this sugar cane. And he's actually, it's actually broken down. So I'll show you some of the broken down humusy sort of stuff. Look at that, it's just black and it's just beautiful. And there's worms all in it, there's cocoons all in it. And it's a great system. And like I said, I actually designed this system and I don't even use it myself on the farm uh, at my place. So like I can see some cocoons in there already. And yeah, you just put the food into the center. So you pull that away like that, feed in the center, cover that back over and it just insulates the farm really well. And coming into winter, man, I'm gonna do this. I've gotta go and set one up and get one started. So I'll show you a full build on how I do one of these uh, very soon. So let me give you a bit more of a breakdown on this farm again, right, how we got it started, because it's been a bit of a trial process over a couple of years. So we start off with a mushroom compost bedding. That's what we did at first, we, 1,000 worms. And then he come up with a concept of throwing some of this on top and just as a mulch, because I was showing him how I was using other like wood chip and the different fibrous stuff and how the worms really liked it and how you could hide your food underneath that. And so, um, yeah, he had the one level with a little bit on top. And then he got the next level and we said, well, let's do um, a two-tiered farm and we'll leave all the worms down below We'll get them to migrate up and we'll create like a, a farm that's sort of a bigger system so you can feed on a few levels if you want. So he was pulling them off, feeding on a few different levels and then they were really breeding up really fast because we had literally thousands in this system. And then, then basically he didn't harvest the bottom one right recently, he's left it in there. And I'll mention why that's probably a good thing coming into the cooler, cooler times. But then the second one's gone on top. Again, a little bit of mushroom, a bit of this sort of fibrous material from the sugar cane. Now you could use straw or something similar to that. And then, yeah, they just started eating it, feeding in the center again. And then the top one, right? Just boom, straight on top of two tiers, the sugar cane only. Now, you've got to understand that they're fully populated down below. They like moving through that nearly completed sort of uh, worm casting, they go through that as well. Then they come up into this top area to feed, so they're moving up and down through this farm quite regularly and breeding up and holding big numbers. I don't think he'll breed any more in here. It's pretty full as it is, but I can, I'm seeing a little baby worm as we speak. So I don't know if we'll get that on the camera there. We can try. Little one just there, right in that fiber way cool and so that would have just come out of a cocoon just very recently so yeah and i just come the other day and then top dress this top with some new stuff and what we do because we've got leachate going all the time pouring through well it's been raining lately so a bit of this is rainwater as well and we just wet that down with the good bacteria that's in there it keeps the bacteria going through and processing through and every now and again we can just grab that water now it has to go through two to three tiers to get the bottom so it creates a drench and then goes through and yeah just creates a really good liquid for plants and like I said you want to pour it back through quite a few times to keep that biology and everything alive and the nitrogen that's in that water from that from that well, it's not a leachate, it's a drench. It's actually wetting this down and creating a breakdown process as well. So it's a really great farm. I am going to build one. Hopefully I haven't repeated myself too much because it is quite a simple system. And we'll see how it goes in my greenhouse, my worm ring, yeah. So if you've got any questions about this farm or you're really digging it, let me know in the comments box down below. I think it's really, really cool and happy to share it with you. It's something that I don't think you've ever seen before. Have a great day, happy worm farming, and we'll see you at the next video, vlog slash live show real soon. Bye for now. So if you stayed right to the end of this video and you didn't bail out when I said bye for now, you get the final tip, right? This tip is because 
it's coming to autumn now, it's coming into winter, and there's so much mass in this farm, the fluctuation of the temperature is going to be a lot less. So they'll be more comfortable through the cooler times. Now, if you're going right into a colder winter than what we do, you can bubble wrap it, blanket, stuff like that, and they'll do really well. As long as you don't get any really heavy frost and snows and stuff, then that's a whole different game. But yeah, mass volume. Look at it, three tiers. You very rarely see a three-tiered worm farm. And I'm really happy I shined it to you. Ciao, guys.